it's Mandy Lee and Kendrick. So this past January, we were lucky enough to take the new barefoot camper made by New Camp on a week long photo shoot all up and down Florida. I know you're jealous, right? Not gonna lie, it's been hard to keep this a secret for the last 12 months. In the weeks leading up to this photo shoot, we had a lot of prep to do. Since this was the first photo shoot of the Barefoot, we wanted to capture images of it in as many unique locations as we could possibly do in one single state. Eventually, all of these locations were put on a Google map and categorized. Finally, it was time for some fun in the sun. We were excited to escape the cold for a week and drive around Florida. Unfortunately, upon our arrival, we realized that would not be happening. First, we worked at the New Camp booth at the Tampa RV Show, where we froze our butts off for a few days. As it turns out, you can't actually control the weather. Even Florida can be cold in January. After the RV Show, we had to go pick up the barefoot for the photo shoot, which means we had to find a rental vehicle that had a hitch and looked cute towing the barefoot. Turns out, is not as easy as it looks. Lucky for us, Enterprise had a gorgeous black F-350 diesel. That looks cute with the barefoot, right? To totally. We just picked up our giant truck. Think this will be enough to handle the barefoot? <laughs> we have an F-350 diesel to uh, pull a 2,000 pound trailer through the monstrous hills of Florida. Well, with our cute tow vehicle, it was finally time to hit the open road, wind in our hair, barefoot in tow, or go straight into heavy traffic and stress about whether or not we'd make it to our first sunset location in time, which is what happened. Sounds about right. Once we cleared traffic and started cruising through palm trees and awesome ocean views, it was time for the next bit of uncertainty. It's a spot we found in our research going to be a great one or a bust. This uncertainty was present through our entire photo shoot because, well, we've never actually seen any of our shooting locations. Lucky for us, on our first day, the locations we chose did lead to good spots. But even with a great location and a beautiful sky, good photos still take a lot of prep. Our first hiccup came when we realized the beach umbrella meant to be used as a prop all week long didn't actually stand up on its own in the sand. So we improvised. Luckily, Mandy's pretty good at Photoshop. Right off the bat, our first sunset location gave us a chance to see how the barefoot was going to handle some rougher terrain and some loose sand. Parking a camper for photos is always fun, especially when you have a picky photographer. It's even more fun when you're trying to park with a massive F-350. We lucked out with an amazing sunset on our first night of shooting. The scene was staged, but this is exactly the kind of spot we'd try to camp if we had our own camper with us. Wonderful first day of shooting the barefoot. Look at this amazing sunset we got. I don't want to take all the credit for it, but I will. It's good. I was definitely in my happy place and kept shooting until well after sunset. On the way to our hotel, we stopped at one of my guilty pleasures, Panda Express. With all of the driving and shooting, cheap, quick, and easy meals kind of became commonplace on this photo shoot. After that, it was finally time to go check into our hotel for the night. Being as we were in possession of the only barefoot camper on U.S. soil, we were a little bit paranoid about parking it. So we made sure to park underneath the brightest light in the hotel parking lot and with an eyesight from our hotel room window. But before we could call it a wrap on day one, I was so excited I had to stay up and edit the day's photos while watching our favorite TV show, Ridiculousness. I fell asleep. During the whole shoot, I stayed up every night because I was always so excited to look at the day's photos. With a few rainy days in the forecast, we decided to start putting in some miles and set our sights to Key West. We were lucky with night number one, but as you can see, day two has brought us some 
rain and some overcast skies, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, Kendrick went to go pick up the camper and car for me, so that was really sweet. Well, we did not get up for sunrise this morning because we checked the weather forecast. Today, our plan is to drive south in Florida, um, but before we do that, I'm hungry and we need some more fast food, apparently. Subway? And Express. Maybe one, Subway. Time to head south and find this apparent Florida weather. It turns out Key West is a long ways from Tampa, and it took us two days to get there. But on our drive, we finally found blue skies, sunshine, and a few pretty places to take photos. The barefoot just looks in its element amongst the palm trees, sand, and the piers of Florida. Look at this adorable little camper and these beautiful palm trees. Ah, one for each of us. I feel like we can't go wrong with palm trees and a barefoot camper on the sand. Feels like it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, might be heading to Margaritaville. Who knows? What? Some of our shooting locations required being a little creative to avoid getting the F-350 in the shots. And some locations required moving around a bit to get people and cars out of the shot. And some locations just required Mandy to spend a little extra time in Photoshop. Sometimes waiting for the perfect moment to take your picture can take a little while, but it's usually worth the wait. After shooting a few locations, we continued down the scenic overseas highway all the way to Key West in search of more barefoot photo ops. One of the best things about owning a new camp product is that it comes with this beautiful community that eventually becomes family. We knew that Linda and Bill were in Key West and we figured we'd meet up with them for dinner, but they were able to get us the last available spot in a campground full of Florida snowbirds. We nestled our little barefoot camper at Boyd's Key West Campground amongst all of the giant motorhomes and fifth wheels to get a few shots of it in a campground. It was pretty neat being the tiniest and coolest camper in the campground. We staged the campsite, borrowed Linda and Bill's solo stove for a campfire, and captured our first images of the barefoot in an official campground. In hopes of getting sunrise photos at the campground, we spent the night in the barefoot, which I guess makes us the first two to sleep in a barefoot this side of the Atlantic. Yeah, first night in the barefoot with our prop pillows and blankets. We'll see how it goes so we can photograph sunrise in the morning. Buenos nachos. Of course, even after all that effort, the next morning was a bust. The good thing about sleeping in barefoot is that we get to wake up for sunrise. The bad thing is when this is sunrise. Instead, we explored a little bit of Key West with our friends and enjoyed a nice lunch. Then we had to part ways. We started the long drive north because we still had lots of photos to capture. Our plan was to get to bed early, shoot sunrise at a harvest host location, then hit the road again. But the promise of a beautiful sunset couldn't be wasted. So instead, we headed straight to the harvest host farm and staged a photo shoot. And it ended up being perfect timing to capture that beautiful sunset. I really love shooting the barefoot in a different scene from the beach. The symmetry, patterns, reflections, and beautiful sky all led to some really great images. This farm made us really optimistic about our other planned harvest host stops. We just finished up for the day. It was a beautiful sunset, even though we were a little bit rushed. We're pros, so we got the shot. The barefoot is a little bit muddy now. I don't know if it's a boondock edition, but we're taking it on some a little bit rougher roads. The next day, we headed to another harvest host location, a winery. Here at Summer Crush uh, Winery, they were kind enough to let us use this amazing, beautiful backdrop of these trees. So we bought some wine and we found like the perfect little wine glasses for the barefoot. It was like meant to be. The winery manager was kind enough to let us park amongst the beautiful palm trees which paired perfectly with the fluffy clouds and blue skies and made for a scenic staged campsite. 
tongue twister. Once we set up the chairs, table, and wine glasses, it was pretty hard to tell if we were enjoying a peaceful day at the winery or doing a photo shoot. Either way, we still enjoyed the wine once we were done taking pictures. Cheers to the barefoot. Our last morning brought us to one of the highest priority photos of this trip, which is the barefoot on the beach. Pretty sure that's its natural habitat. Yay, last morning of the photo shoot. It's freezing again. Hopefully that means the beach won't be crowded because we're driving this thing out onto the beach today. As long as it's sunny, you can't tell if it's cold. Now, trying to find a beach that you can drive a camper on is not a terribly easy thing to do, it turns out. After a lot of research, I finally narrowed it down to a stretch of beach just south of Daytona. Once we found the entry gate, we figured we were home free. Not so much. Apparently, there's a length restriction on what you can take onto the beach. Luckily, Kendrick is a pretty good sweet talker and convinced the gate attendant to let us in. I don't even want to know what the wind chill was, but that means we had the entire beach to ourselves. 35 degree wind chill outside, in case you can't tell. With our coats and hats. Luckily, based on this blue sky, the pictures are still gonna look nice and warm because check out this cute little setup we got going on here. Very windy though, so now it's being gonna... a little challenging with the chairs and the pillows. Next is time to strip down the bikinis and swim trunks and get the real beach shot, so uh. The crazy wind meant that we had to stack rocks on the outdoor rug and be picky with the props we chose because they kept blowing away. So again, we had to rely on Mandy's Photoshop skills to make a windy day on a normally crowded beach look like a calm, peaceful day in relative solitude. And I think she nailed it. So I had this one shot in mind with barefoot footprints leading up to the barefoot. See what I did there? So we had to make this happen. I made Kendrick take his shoes off and stomp footprints into the hard, possibly frozen sand. Add some Photoshop magic to Kendrick's expertly placed footprint and you get another great image. When people see the final images from this beach shoot, I want them to imagine a warm, sunny, peaceful day on the beach while lounging in their chairs and enjoying a Mai Tai. That couldn't be any further from the truth, but I feel like the final images really convey the feeling we were going for and showing people what's possible with the barefoot. After the beach, we wanted to see where else the barefoot can go. We also wanted to get another unique shot, so we headed down the most rugged road of our photo shoot. I was a little stressed driving at this location. I was pulling a camper that at first glance doesn't really look like it has that much ground clearance. But after driving to this location, all thoughts I had about bottoming out the barefoot in normal driving situations were pretty much gone. After some creative driving and backing up, we found a perfect spot nestled amongst some Spanish moss. This is a legit campsite, and once again, one that we would probably camp in on our own. To me, this ended up being the perfect final shot to end a week-long photo shoot of the barefoot. And uh, that's a wrap. That is a wrap. Like, I'll do the awkward wave too. After a week of towing the barefoot all over Florida, it was finally time to say goodbye. So we dropped the camper back off at the dealer and started the journey back home to our own camper. Even though we didn't really do any sightseeing, this project was a great driving tour of a state that neither one of us really have explored that much. My favorite part of this whole experience was seeing Mandy in her element, snapping all these beautiful pictures of the barefoot, and just doing whatever I could do to help her. We only got to spend one week with the barefoot, but had so much fun in the process. My hope is that these images will inspire you all to get out there and think about the possibility of where the barefoot can take you. And we can't wait until it's out there and to see all the pictures you'll be taking of your own bare foots or bare feet. Bare feet. So here's to being barefoot and worry-free. Love and light. We're really bad actors. Good enough. <laughs>